Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? It is Gavin Assidy here again with you for another video. And in today's video, what we're going to be discussing is how you can become a better hardpoint player. Hardpoint is one of my favorite game modes, and what we're going to be doing is kind of breaking it down into two different play styles of how you can play this game mode, and just kind of talk about the pros and cons of each, and just what you can do to benefit yourself as those different types of players. Before we really get into it and start breaking it down, one thing I do want to mention about Hardpoint is you guys should get familiar with the maps and the hardpoint rotations associated with a certain map. So like if you're playing Solar or Terrace for instance right here, you're just going to want to know the rotations and always kind of get there early and always kind of watch the clock and see how much time you have until the next rotation of the hardpoint. Also you can just kind of get in there, you know, at least 20 to 10 seconds before the next rotation is when you should start moving on to the next spawn point. So the two major types of hardpoint players that I would describe would be either your OBJ or your objective style player or your slayer which is the guy that kills everybody. So we're gonna start off with what you guys are seeing right now and we're gonna be talking about the OBJ style player and what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be that guy who's really really quick who's just always getting on top of the objective just rushing as much as they can and they're not gonna be afraid to die. Now when I say not afraid to die I don't mean the guy that just runs in there not paying attention just getting destroyed and picked off by every single person around there. I mean the guy that, that will run in there and sacrifice his life but also play it smart and kind of take out the enemies around and inside of the hard point. For this type of playstyle, I highly recommend you use like an SMG especially the ASM1 obviously that's probably gonna be your first choice it's a really good submachine gun. You're going to want uh, to move very fast, use toughness, you don't necessarily have to rely on scavenger because you're going to be dying a lot, so those of you who use scavenger, you probably don't want to use it. Um, use some stun grenades or frag grenades to get people off of or annoy people on the hard point. And then you're using the support style kill streaks. So you're going to use your UAV, your system hack, and maybe any other type of uh, streak that will support your team. On some of my classes I was using low profile but I definitely do not recommend that. You're going to want to stick to your lightweight and you know maybe your fast hands. Everything that will make you move as quickly and as efficient as possible especially overclock that will be a very good exo ability to use for this style of play. So for this style of play like I was saying you're going to want to be on the hard point as much as possible. The only way I would say that you should get off of the hard point is if you have to reload and you don't want to get taken out and you're just trying to stay alive and just kind of hide in the corner somewhere near the hard point. But don't go too far away. You want to stay on the hard point as much as possible. The OBJ player is always going to have the most caps and the most defense in hard point. They're going to be the one picking people off, you know, who are on top of the hard point while staying inside of it or taking enemies out who are contesting, anything like that sort of thing. These kind of players are not going to have the highest KDs whatsoever, but they can have a good chance of being on top of the scoreboard just simply because of all the caps and defense and stuff like that and just the overall teamwork. Also, these kind of players are going to have to be the clutch guys, you know, that have the clutch factor. They're going to be the one at, uh, in very close games where you're going to have to pick somebody off who's contesting it and just be able to hold it down until you can get your teammates over there for some support. This is why again I kind of want to stress that you don't want to be afraid to sacrifice your life but your life is still very important because you're going to be the guy that could potentially win the game in the end. Lastly for the OBJ player awareness is key. It is very important that you have good awareness and you can kind of be able to tell based on where your teammates are on the map, where the enemies are coming from, kind of know the spawns and hard point and be able to just kind of help control the map. Overall just be aware, know your hard point rotations and just be that speedy guy who is not afraid to lose their life but will be very clutch. Now we're going to move on to the slayer type playstyle. Now this player or playstyle is very important in my opinion and this personally is more towards what type of player I am. And it is important in hard point to have your OBJ style, style player and you definitely will not win games if you're not on the hard point. That is very true, but slayers play a very important role in hard point. So for the slayer type play style, what you're going to be wanting to use is an AR. You can use kind of whatever uh, variant you want. I like using the royalty bow or which is the bow inferno. Just the high fire rate helps out a lot so you can melt people. You're going to want to stay off the mini map a little bit more, play a little bit slower, use low profile stuff like that, um, maybe a silencer, scavenger is definitely helpful. You can use a UAV to support your team, but you're also going to want to use the bigger score streaks to help get other enemies off of the hard point and help your teammate in that sort of way. So what I like to use is some, some stuff like bombing run, 
and definitely Warbird. You can even use, you know, maybe a Paladin, stuff like that. Unfortunately, the Paladin isn't too good in this game, but definitely Warbird and Bombing Run are very good choices. But same as the OBJ style player, you're going to want to know the rotations and know them well. What the Slayer is going to do is kind of patrol around the perimeter of the uh, hard point at the time and just kind of pick people off who are heading towards the objective. In this type of play style, you're going to have to know the spawns a little bit better than the OBJ player and basically your main role is defense. You're just going to try to defend the perimeter and stop anybody you can from getting on top of the hard point. Now I feel like most people frown upon the Slayer role and then that people just, you know, they go into a game and they just want to kill whore and just steal all the kills from everybody else. and don't give a crap about the game whether or not they win or lose but there are such things as a helpful slayer you know there's your bad slayers like I just mentioned that just do really don't care about whether or not they win or lose but there are the very helpful slayers who can ultimately uh, predict the outcome of the hard point match. You know, your bad slayers typically just kind of run around wherever they want, just looking for kills and trying to get into those spawn traps. But your good slayer, you're just going to stick very close to the perimeter of the hard point and just kill anybody you can. And just also, again, with awareness, you want to know where your teammates are and where you can expect the enemies to come from. The one major drawback to the slayer role is you really cannot win without the OBJ player. If you're not touching the hard point, you're not going to win. But at the same time, if there is no Slayer on your team, there is also a good chance you will lose just because if everybody is dying, then who is going to be on the hard point? You have your OBJ player trying to get on the hard point, but if they're not killing anybody, they're not getting on the hard point. Also with the Slayer role, it just helps relieve pressure on the OBJ player so they can do their thing and, you know, help you win the map. I will have to admit that if there is no OBJ player, you will more than likely lose the match just because nobody is on the hard point. You just always need to have somebody on the hard point. That's kind of a given. It is an objective-based game mode. You have to play the objective. But you can win matches just with a party of two. If you have one guy being very, very aggressive OBJ and one guy being very aggressive Slayer, you can easily dominate uh, another six-man team just with the two of you and playing with some random. I myself try to stick towards being more of a hybrid player. I lean more towards slaying. I just like getting the kills and controlling the map. But, you know, it is impossible to win if nobody's on the objective. So I try to play a little bit of both but mostly lean towards Slayer. But let me know down in the comments what kind of player you guys are. What If you rather play OBJ, be a Slayer, just let me know down in the comments. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And as usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.